<laughs> Very subtle. Today we're building the class 1800. Very unique layout or very reminiscent layout in case you guys haven't seen it before. It is a 60% with exploded arrows, exploded F row, and exploded numpad. All right. <laughs> you do have this like LED badge indicator here, num lock, caps lock, scroll lock. This part is either a knob module or a st stellanoid slash buzzer so this is a removable module based on like which one you would like this board can be either top mount or gasket mount so this layout the reason why i say it's unique but also reminiscent is because this is a close replica of a keyboard called the g8018xx they added this like little module right here so you can basically get either the buzzer or you get like the dual knob. This is the solenoid or buzzer. It's just magnetic. It just goes on like that. Neat. It starts at 320. That's not including the plate and PCB. So that's like just for the case load. It's actually in group by right now. So here's the case. This is a very nice red. You have this top blocker that is removable. Exploded F row, arrow keys, and numpad, but the body itself is a 60%. It does have the indicators right here. So it actually says num lock, caps lock, scroll lock. You do have this cherry lip right here. You have very thick bezels. So thickest bezels on the top, the sides are gonna be a little smaller. The separation from the F row and the alphas pretty big it's a little smaller like with the arrows and the numpad but there is like a considerable distance from these this is a removable blocker i just took it off but this does go like like that so this does stick out a little bit in case you guys couldn't see that here's the side so you can see the top piece and then the bottom piece there is a seam right here pretty simple side here you can see the cherry lip and then here's the back so homage to the name 1800 it has a nice weight right here you can actually get this in a different material pvd matte black stainless steel this is the brass you have the four adhesive feet and then you have seven case screws so three on the top and then four on the bottom it seems so the module doesn't have a screw there's missing one right here but that's because you have the blocker here you have the centered usb port and then here you can see the switch for the buzzer and then here is the front lip so once again you can see the seam right here and then the cherry lip this is available in six colors and this is the retro coating red this board can be either gasket mounted or top mounted. When I say gasket mounted, it's silicum bottom with gasket, which means you can go plateless as there's tabs on the plate and the PCB. So just looking at the top case, you can see it doesn't really have walls. It does have anchor points to help you align the board. So you see one, two, three, four, but this is just like kind of like a flat piece it does have like the indents so you can see this is for the top mount eight top mounting points except they are in different places so no space for mounting points you do have these indents right here here you can see where the indicators there is like the fuse for that otherwise this is a pretty flat piece okay so looking at the internals so once again you can see the anchor points for the top and bottom case and here you can actually see the points for the bottom mounts and then this weight is just seems like one big piece it gives you two four six screws we'll take them off and see oh so you have this one piece one piece <laughs> guessing this is for the cover also acoustic so here you can see the coil for this module and then the ribbon cable so it looks like for the two weights they do use separate screws so you have four screws for each weight but they are separate so I like that the branding is right here. MM Studio. So this is the hot swap PCB. I do have the solder one. So here you can see the big gap between this and the F row. You can see the indicators right here. One, two, three. You could do step to regular caps lock. Looks like you could do 6.25 or 7U bottom row. No split backspace, unfortunate. 
and looks like you don't have an option for the numpad layout. So really the only choices you have are split step caps or you can choose your bottom row. Everything else is going to be set. If we look at the solder PCB, you do have more choices, right? You can split the backspace, separate other caps, choose your bottom row, and then you can split one key on the numpad. So this is for the ribbon cable. Looks like no physical reset button. Also no LEDs, no RGB, anything of the sort. However, on the PCB, you can see the mounting points. So you can do one, two, three, four, which means that you can go plateless or you could do silicon bottom mount, but then you can also do top mount, which has the plate, right? There's no like underglow, but the badge, yeah, has LEDs, but no underglow or no per key. So this is the alu plate. So plates, you have PC alu, brass, or copper. So it's kind of neat because you see these like grooves on the plate and these you can actually see on the back weight and also on the internal weight. So good that they like follow that same motif there. And you can see there's actually like relief cuts along the entirety of the plate. See it here? You see the mounting points, you have the four on the top, and then you have the four on the bottom, but they're all spaced differently, so nothing directly on the space bar. These two are the same, but you can see the middle ones are going to be slightly off. There's technically the flex relief cuts, but there's nothing in the middle. Well, let's look at the silicon bottom cap. So this is a mounting point or mounting style that you can do. So here again, you can see like the motif. So this would go like this. So the PCB would just fit on here, like so. It is just like a bed or pad. We had some pretty funny times at TorchCon. I'll tell you guys about how assy, ass man, okay, ass man. This guy booked the wrong Airbnb. So we had four people Okay, the one bathroom. One of those people being Kiwi, all right? And as someone who's only used to sharing a bathroom with like one guy, <laughs> sharing with three guys is like, whoa. <laughs> you guys are stinky. <laughs> They're so stinky. They're so stinky, okay.
So check this out. So here's the top. So as you can see, it's a very chunky board. It's a very thick board. The distance between the F row and the num row, pretty big, but that's like the aesthetic. So you have two modules. So this is a solenoid or buzzer module. So that's what you heard, like the clicking. So you can either turn it off if you don't want it. There's one mode and there's a second mode, but this is a module that you could just plop off it's magnetic. It uses the pogo pins to connect it but then it also used two magnets to keep this on and it's just as easy as like plopping it off. In case you don't want this right you can also get a knob kit. Starting price for this just for the keyboard case alone when you add the PCB and plate it's separate. Case alone is $320. But it's a big boy. Here you can see the adhesive feet and they actually give you four. They give you a black and a clear. And then this weight is receded in a little bit. So this actually doesn't make contact with like the desk mat or desk itself, assuming you use like the feet, right? But it does follow this like line motif. So you can see the line motif is right here. You see the line motif right here. And then you can see how this has like the lines. So this does use ribbon cables, so you want to be careful whenever you're taking it apart. This is where the indicator is, and so it actually has this to like kind of diffuse the light, but I'm guessing you would need some kind of call-in thing to avoid the light bleed. I don't know if it's a piece that's already included or if I just happened to miss it, but yeah, so this indicator is a copper indicator light pad. This is how the mounting works. So for the PCB gasket silicon pad, so you have the four tabs on the PCB and this friction fits into the case, but in order to avoid like it from bottoming out, you have the silicon pad which catches it. It's kind of a tight fit. There is a build guide, but basically what they tell you to do here, you can see these are just like gasket socks that friction fit into these grooves right here. This part sticks out because of the exploded arrows in case you're wondering. You put the silicon pad in here to make sure it's all nice and fitted. And then from here, you want to friction fit this in. What I found that helped because if you just like do this and push it in, it's kind of unreliable. So what I would recommend doing is like doing one side first, putting pressure downwards here, and also like making sure that this goes in flat like that. So you can see I just kind of pushed it in like that. Keep your hand close to right here and make sure to like push this in so it goes in flat from the bottom and then you can push it in. And then here you see, oh, this is sticking out, but this is actually long enough so that you can lightly lift this and do the same thing. So apply pressure downwards here and then push this down as well and make sure this part goes in flat. And then once it does, you can push it in like that. It was kind of a little bit hard to finagle at first, but once you kind of get like the groove of it, the biggest thing is making sure that the gasket part, the flat part goes in, the bottom part goes in first, right? Don't let it like curve in. You wanna make sure it goes in flat. Once you've got this aligned, then you can just push it down. So this part was a little difficult, but once you get it, then it's not too bad. But this is one mounting style. So this is a silicon pad PCB gasket mount. But you can also do top mount. So this is where the top case comes in. So here you can see the anchor points right here. So one, two, three, four. So this is alignment tabs. But for the top mount, they actually give you these adhesive silicon pads that you can put on each mounting point. The screws will go in and I'd recommend not screwing it like super tightly. So basically like do it until it's just tight. But yeah, you have four mounting screws on top, four on the bottom. And because this has the PCB gaskets, you can do playlists or you can do plate. Also, I don't know how much you guys like this like module, but it's interesting. So for layouts, 1800, you can get wing keyless, standard HHKV or standard wing keyless. So here's all the layouts. Four colors, so mine is the retro coating red, but you have E white, red, green, and a black silver, and the special random. Apparently there's like three special colors, so good luck. So depending on the play you get, it will be more expensive, but basically it would be uh, 360 if you get like the PC plate. That's like the lowest you can get. So most expensive plate you can get is copper and brass. But here you can have like the dual knobs if you don't want the um, buzzer, you can get the different color 
modules. So say you have like a red case, but then you want like a white module, you can do that. So it default comes with like the buzzer. So you can get an extra foam kit if you like. Basically when you're buying this, make sure that you've added everything because it is separate. But yeah, that's the board. Thank you MM Studio for sending it out to me. So my thoughts on this board is I like it. I do like it. I think price point wise, it's pretty fair, especially like given how much material you have in it. If you're looking for like a louder board, based on my build, this was not like a loud board or it's not like a quote clacky, but I mean, if you want it to be loud, you could always turn this up, right? So if you do happen to turn this on, like I think this is um, what some would say, maybe like a little gimmicky, but the fact that it's there is cool and you don't really see that that often. So having this would kind of like mute out a lot of the sound, I'd say. One thing to note is that if you like hold down a key, it doesn't continuously buzz. It'll just buzz once and then stop. So you don't have to worry about like that making sound. It basically triggers on a click. So if you're backspacing and you're like clicking it like this, it will go click, 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 right? This is a very unique board, but if you are looking for something like a little more funky, this only has it. But yeah, that's the build!